to annihilate Ronimus, Crown Thief, will require a battle. My plan ends with his destruction, but it begins with vengeance for my father's death. That is how I will establish my dominance. Prepare this town, I tell Cooper and Lucy. The daughter of the wolf will arrive soon. I need only retrieve her. Cooper raises his hand. Uh, do you mean you're kidnapping her? What else would I mean? I will kill the wolf and steal his daughter. The crowd abruptly parts, and even Lucy and Cooper move to the side to accommodate the woman who saunters toward me. She wears a long, flowing black dress adorned with beads that click as she moves. A scarf covers her hair and a ring adorns her right middle finger. She halts before me. I am Kezia of the Rom, cast into the outlands for my wickedness. Now I serve you, Zane, and I have seen the future. I fold my arms over my chest as I study the woman. If you know something... Of course I know something. She stretches her arms up to grasp my face. The wolf has become a mere mortal, and his mate is no longer invested with magics. Nathaniel Fortescue and his bride, Kylie, cannot give you what you need. And I suppose you know how to rectify the situation. Indeed, I do. Her bare feet lift off the ground as she rises to stare into my eyes. What you seek now is the daughter of the wolf, Charlotte Fortescue. A tingle sweeps over my skin, lifting every hair. My pulse accelerates, my breaths grow shallower. You can find Charlotte for me. The gypsy lowers herself onto the ground and takes two steps backward. Yes, my lord. I will send you directly to her. Charlotte. The name echoes in my mind even as my body awakens, enlivened by the prospect of defiling the daughter of the wolf and making her my queen. She is a luscious female ripe for the taking. Will I defeat Ronimuth and claim the throne that is rightly mine? Kezia shrugs. That is up to you, but I will show you how to reach the daughter of the wolf. Vengeance shall be mine, and so will Charlotte Fortescue. Once we've all started eating, I decide now is the right time to broach a subject they probably won't like. Who am I kidding? They'll freak out, as Mum would say. But it's now or never. Um... I was thinking of taking a holiday in America. Darcy, Amelia and Eden suggested we should go there to see where I was born and to have a good time. Dad drops his fork. It clatters on his plate. You're too young to travel abroad. I'm 23, for heaven's sake. That means I am an adult who doesn't need your permission. I'm being a good daughter and asking for your blessing instead of doing a runner. When he opens his mouth to object, Mum lays a hand on his arm. She's right, Nathaniel. Charlotte is old enough to make her own decisions. Besides, it's not like she wants to go to Burning Man. Dad gawps at her. Why would anyone want to watch a bloke being burned alive? Mum tries to stifle her laugh, but she ends up spluttering. Burning Man is a festival-type thing out in the desert, I've never been there, but I hear it's pretty wild. Before my father can object again, I hold up a hand. I vow that I am not going anywhere near Burning Man. Dad leans back in his chair, crosses his arms, and lifts his brows. Where, then, are you going? The western part of the United States. Being cagey won't convince me this holiday is a good idea. Mum gives me her best sceptical look, too. I have to agree with your father on this one. What don't you want us to know? I slouch in my chair and bluster out a sigh. We're going to Utah. I wince. To the Rathrock ghost town, 